Hey guys, so in today's video, we will be making fried rice, not the Chinese fried rice, but the homemade fried rice using hot, sweet Italian sausages. So for this recipe for my seasoning, I'm using some freshly chopped onions, garlic, red, green, and orange sweet peppers, and some celery with some green onions. Additional stuff that's needed is sausage or meat of choice, adobo, sasson, soy sauce, or casu for my West Indians. I'm using one can of peas and carrots, but you can substitute it with any other vegetables and it's still going to be amazing. You need some olive oil and I'm using two eggs. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting my sausage into pieces. I'm going to cook this for about 10 minutes. I'm frying them first about 5 minutes, then I'm boiling it for about an additional 5 minutes. So here I have a pot with some oil. I'm going to go ahead and add my sausage and let that fry on both sides for about 5 minutes. Make sure that your pot is big enough so you can add your rice in there or you can either fry your sausages separately and just mix it in with the rice, however you choose. So this is what the sausages looks like after being fried for 5 minutes. I will be adding some water just so they can thoroughly cook and then I will let this cook for about 5 minutes. Now my sausages are completely cooked and the water is gone. I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning and let this cook for another minute or so. So I'm letting this cook for about a few more minutes because I want my seasoning to cook into my sausages so they can all have that flavor. Now I'll be adding my rice. I'm using two cups of white rice that I've cooked earlier. You can also use leftover rice, which I've used many times. So this part is the easiest and the most fun to do because you can actually see your food come together. So what you're doing is just basically mixing everything up together and you're letting your rice cook for a little bit. So it's actually cooked into the season of the meat or the sausages that you just used. So while your rice is frying, make sure that your heat is on low because you do not want your rice to burn. I'm adding a little bit of extra oil because I don't want it to all stick together either. Here I'm adding about a quarter of a pack of sasson and a sprinkle of adobo. I am not adding a lot of both because I'm adding soy sauce which is also a salt substitute. Here I'm adding my soy sauce, but I'm adding one teaspoon at a time because I don't want it to be very salty and I also don't want it to be too brown. So as I'm adding one teaspoon, I'm mixing that in, then I'm seeing what my rice looks like and if I need more or not. So for two cup of rice, I've used three teaspoons of soy sauce. Again, for my West Indians, you're using casrip and you're using a little bit less because casrip is a little bit thicker than soy sauce. And just as a side note, if you don't have soy sauce or you can't even find casrip, you can also use Worcestershire sauce, which is also the same thing. Here I'm adding two eggs. It, this is optional. If you don't want eggs, then just don't add the eggs. It's up to you. But it's more of like a meaty flavor, basically. Now you're letting this fry again for about a, a minute or two until your eggs are completely fried. So this is what it looks like when my eggs are completely fried. Uh, you want your rice to be nice and loose, not all clumped together. If at any point that it's all clumped together, then you just need to let your rice fry a little bit more. And always make sure that your heat isn't low. This is my end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already done so, please hit like and subscribe. I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.